Hi, <laughs> I have my camera the wrong way around. Hello, my name is Catherine Chapman. I am a portrait photographer based in Surrey in the UK. Hi Sarah, thank you for joining us. Um, I help women transform the relationship they have with themselves through portraiture. And uh, I work with women uh, all around the country, all over the world, helping them to see themselves better through beautiful, gentle processes that I have devised from my own uh, journey with depression and anxiety. Today, I am going to be talking to who hopefully should be coming on. Where is she? There she is, Jackie. Hello. Hi, hello. So this is Jackie, everyone. Um, Jackie and I met last year on an online course. She's also a photographer. She's an amazing photographer, does wonderful portraiture um, with people uh, who have tattoos, nudes. It's really soulful stuff, uh, really inspirational. Do check out her page after the interview. So, um, Jackie, how are you feeling about having a chat with me today? Good, actually. Yeah, I do just need to close my windows because I'm right by a train station and I forgot they're going to go past so you won't be able to hear anything. So I'm just going to close them and then I'll be back. Go on then. Oh, it's D I think Dina's here as well. Hi, Dina. Uh, so today we are going to be talking to Jackie about one of her images that she took during lockdown. And uh, like a lot of uh, photographers, I think, uh, myself included, and I know Rankin, because I've just seen a little interview with him on his new book, he, uh, he's been photographing um, nature and um, doing self-portraits and things like that to help us through lockdown, to help make sense of what's been going on for us um, and to work things out. And I know Jackie's been doing a lot of that during lockdown. I've seen some of the stuff she's got. I actually don't know what picture she's going to share with us today because uh, she's changed what picture she wanted to talk to us about, which is very exciting. So um, I'm going to hand over to Jackie. Jackie, please introduce yourself. And um, I'd, first of all, I'd like you to tell us um, what photography means to you before we talk about your picture. Ooh, hi, I'm Jackie Cooper. I'm a portrait photographer, but I've started specialising in tattoos. And from that, it's led to me doing them a lot in nude. So a lot of the tattoos that people have are on their backs or all over their body. And so it just seems better to photograph them if they're fully nude so you can see all the details. And I just love finding out the stories, the meanings behind them, like little antidotes and funny stories that I find out as well, because some of them don't really have meanings or they've just got like funny drunken stories to go with them. So, yeah, it's quite fun. And I'm, I'm on my own journey, really, in so far as finding out about tattoos and the industry. It's just been opened up my eyes to so much as well. But, um, yeah, so I'm really enjoying learning about that and just meeting other creators, which is just, like, fills me with complete joy and happiness. Okay. What was the other question? Was what, what does photography mean to you? What, 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 do, you, what do, you, do you feel that it calls you to do? Just, I don't know, I've always been interested in it since I was a teenager. I remember doing um, photography, black and white photography in the wet dark green process. So I don't think digital had really been introduced at that point. And I just loved like being able to form something from nothing and seeing it develop in the developed trays and stuff. And watching it come through, it just felt really, really magical, which is quite ironic in some ways, because a lot of people refer to tattoos as being magical as well, which I think they are. They're just mm -hmm. like, yeah. Um, but also, I, I, I feel it's just like a, a really positive, creative way of expression. Art, any form of art and creativity is always just, to me, is always said it's just about expression and people just voicing how they feel, giving themselves a, a voice, basically, to express what perhaps they can't actually say verbally, mm. or that they just feel it'll have more impact visually. I didn't quite understand that side of photography when I was younger and first getting into it, and it's been like, a, photography has been like a huge journey for me in so far as just learning about how to take photographs and the technical side, and it's only been in like the last... I don't know, probably 10, maybe 15 years 
that I've started to try and express like the emotions that come with being a creative person because I think all all creative industries like music a lot of that comes from dark places doesn't it or people just expressing how they feel and quite often in music you find that once people have a happy life and find what's making them happy that they um they they don't write as much or they don't sing as much Mm. I watched something about Adele where she was kind of talking about that sort of thing so yeah it's just I find it easier when I'm trying to express myself to create when I'm photographing or thinking in terms of photographs to create from my dark darker side my my pain my I don't know just like things that I haven't been able to verbally express Mm -hmm. although I can photograph things when I'm not feeling dark and gone into the deep side of myself but like my most emotive stuff comes out then I think yeah, absolutely. I, I completely hear you there. I'm, I'm, that, that's been very much my journey as well. So, um, yeah, thank you for sharing that, Jackie. That's <laughs> amazing. Um, so your picture, before you show us your picture, um, mm-hmm. please, can you tell us um, just a little bit about your picture? So what, what we're going to do now is, is um, Jackie, Jackie's going to going to talk about her picture and then I'm going to ask her questions about it, about what it means to her. Um, this is a really beautiful way of, of diving into what meanings there are in photography. And I think for people watching, um, <coughs> I think my challenge to you guys is, is, is to think about images of you that mean a lot to you. And next time you look at them, look at them in a different, look at them in different and deeper way, hang on and on, on the gaze of, of the person who is looking back at you. Um, you so many years ago uh, and and just just sit with that and and some of the questions I'm going to ask Jackie you can you can ask yourself so Jackie over to you what tell us about your picture okay so it's quite an emotional picture so I don't know how quite I'm going to respond while I'm talking um I took it at, at the very beginning of lockdown, after about a month or so, I had to move out of where I was living because I'm also a support worker. So I needed to be in a safe environment to protect my family. During that time, I was staying at a place called, I've got to try and get it right because sometimes I get it wrong, Wood Farm Barns and Barges. And it's absolutely stunning. It was like a complete tranquil peace haven that was just everything that I needed at that time um and as soon as I got there I walked outside it was bright sunny shining beautiful glorious day um and since I got there I walked outside and I saw like this little courtyard garden that I had all to myself because it was part of where I was staying and instantly I just looked at it and went right okay I've got to photograph something there I don't know what I don't know how but I just the whole time I was there for the first couple of days, I just kept going outside and walking out there and going, right, okay, what am I going to do? What can I create? It's got to include what's on the wall. It's got to kind of create this really atmospheric, emotional feeling. And I was, I was in quite a dark place. I think like most people were at the beginning and just like completely distraught by everything that was happening. Um, and I wanted to bring that into the image and uh, yeah, that, that's what I'd done. I had like, I'd taken my photography stuff with me because I knew like the whole time at the beginning, I knew I wanted to just develop my skill set, I suppose, practice what I, I was um, doing in terms of photography and just to keep me entertained in terms of my side distraction, like a little bit of um, something just to keep me motivated and going because I just felt like completely giving up at that time because it's like well what's the point what are we going to be doing in like a year's time where are we going to be is the world still going to be here (laughs) like all these crazy things so I took my lights the guy who owned the place thought I was a bit bonkers because I ended up dressing up (laughs) and then he saw me one day (laughs) <laughs> and I walked out and went, oh, hi, because <laughs> I then ended up doing like a whole collection of images. But this was one of the first out of the set that I was doing. 
so I was really exhausted and tired and everything and um yeah I just dressed up and put this outfit on because I brought this this skirt that I'm wearing I brought like about a year ago in a charity shop I just saw it and thought it was beautiful tried it on but it didn't really look right on me but I thought no I'm going to use it somewhere along the lines in in some photo sheet or something and then I brought like a top vintage style top off someone and then I ended up buying a wig and before this shoot there was some photographs that I'd done while I was still in the house previously where I just put the wig on in the top but wore a pair of kind of casual jeans and just sort of done a self-portrait a bit like the one that's on my my profile picture at the moment on my general page and then I thought right okay I'm going to use that wig and then I'm going to use the skirt and it was kind of almost like part of dressing up was enable me to um detach myself and those feelings and emotions so that I could focus on actually doing and creating so it was taking me away from what I was going on and it was sort of making it so it wasn't really me and I could get in I suppose I could get into kind of like a different person's head if that makes sense yeah yeah to enable me to take the photograph and that's what I'd done I'd done loads of pictures while I was there it's not picture perfect it's not technically perfect um but I was like, well, I don't care. It says what it needs to to me. And, um, yeah, so there's a few that I think you've probably seen from this collection and a couple of the other people that are on here. But I'm not sure that I've shown this one. It's very similar to another one. Okay. But, yeah, so are you ready? I'm dying to see it. Okay, so I'll hold it for a few seconds so we can, get, we can get a good look at it. Okay, you'll have to give me instructions if you can't see it because okay. I'm not sure how much you can see. Can you see? A little bit there we go yeah can you can you can you pull it back a little bit towards you towards me that way yeah. no 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 to, away from the camera that way yeah a little bit more in my eye and up a little bit <laughs> that's absolutely beautiful thank you and can you can you just push it forward towards the camera so we can get a bit more of a close-up of your face i don't know if you it's very clear. It seems like quite out of focus. No, it's okay. I can post it afterwards. I can post it underneath. If I can yeah, find that it. would be amazing. Can you see wow. it? Wow. Uh, Jackie, that's um, absolutely incredible. I love it. So. Thanks. <laughs> I, I, want, I want to dive into that picture. I want to get in there and be with you. That looks like such an amazing space. Wow. I'm completely blown away by this picture. Jump into the screen then, Catherine. <laughs> <laughs> okay, could just pull it back a little bit again so we can get the full picture in view. Thank you, and up a bit. Okay. Amazing. Can I put it down now? My arms, yeah, are, yeah, your arms are getting tired, probably. I don't know if there's anywhere I can put it. You can't really see it while it's over there. It's too far, isn't it? Yeah, can you stick it up, actually? <laughs> I don't think I've got any way to stick it. Okay, don't worry, don't worry about that. So let, let's let's talk about your pictures. So Tam, let's kick off with how did you feel when you were taking that picture? Do you remember that pi you that picture being taken? I remember the one that you've seen before. You've seen three. So, okay, you know, so this the first one specifically, one, yeah. This one specifically. So, this would have been like a few minutes after. Well, I remember just feeling absolutely exhausted because I wasn't sleeping very well. Um, but just really delighting in the fact that there was so much sun and just that I was staying in this amazing place. And I just, I just had this, I just needed to take them, just get them out and take them. Um, and I tried to make them sort of perfect, but at the end of the day, I just thought, well, I can't because I'm taking the photograph and trying to kind of use the time release machine thing that I had, and I can't actually see what I'm doing. So it enabled me to kind of think about how to photograph myself in the future, but it just, I don't know, it just, it kind of, I guess, instigated like the future ones that I took that are of the same collection. Um, and it was just in really important with the light that I had. So I had a massive three foot parabolic um, umbrella that I used with like a diffuser on it. And the sun was really harsh. So I had to try and get rid of the harsh lighting. Um, 
yeah and I, I just I think I was just like running through my head everything that happened in the last six weeks and you know just trying to get that all out and put it into a photograph because it felt like I'd released it then but so, because so I as as a picture then with, with what you were making sense of at the time what what does this picture mean for you in in terms of when you took it and and what was going on for you i'm not really a hundred percent sure i know when i look at it now i i see growth development progression and i just think wow how much i've changed in that one year mm -hmm. just um it just symbolizes my journey that I've been on in the last year and the growth that I've had and just it's, it's pain when I look at it it's you know there's a lot of pain hurt anger frustration despair everything in that image whether that comes across or not and how people interpret the image themselves is going to be different as next it's going to yeah. be dependent on how they're feeling yeah. they might look at it one day and feel one thing and then come back and look at it another day and feel something completely different but it's about just wanting to be free and released from all those emotions and feelings. Okay, so, so when you look at it now, for you know, um, year, year and a half later from when you took it, mm -hmm. um, how, how, how do you feel towards the person in the image? How do you, how, how do you relate to her now? Can I don't know, Catherine. I mean, I look at it and it, the, the bird cage is really significant because it's about like just feeling really trapped. Mm. So I recognise her as being me because I know it was her because I know what feelings and emotions were involved in that photograph. I guess there's like um, an element of, I don't know if empathy is the right, yeah, probably empathy for everything that she's been through, what she's gone through, what what life's thrown at her, but kind of there's another feeling which I can't quite put my, my finger on it because it's about like, you know, wow, can I swear? Yeah, of course. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fuck me. You got free all that shit and look at you now, you're doing brilliantly, you've you're doing this, that and the other, and you've changed things so much around within the last year. Nice. I've moved three times. <laughs> I've yeah just everything's completely changed so so this reminds you of what 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 does it remind you of what words would you say oh there's the question what does it remind me of <laughs> well it is all that all that pain and that frustration everything that I was going through because you you've got those feelings held in your stomach haven't you so when you look at something because you know when I look at it, I know what I was going through. I know all those emotions and feelings, and then they kind of come and rise again in your stomach. You feel them because it's intuitional, isn't it? You mm -hmm. feel it again. So sometimes there was there was um, a particular one I think that I, I I've used on my profile picture that every time I looked at it before I started using it, every time I looked at it, I just wanted to cry. But that was like within weeks, months. And then over time, I've kind of got to a point where I just look at it and I just put it up there and can see the visual aspect of the emotion and feeling in it and just feel quite proud of the image to, on a technical and photographic nice. side. And, and, and if, if I may just remind you what, what you said a minute ago about all those good things <coughs> that it reminds you about or, of how, how far you've come. And mm. I just really want to honour that. Um, uh, and, and, you know, having watched your journey as much as I have and, and also seen you change like you have with me, um, mm. it, 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 I, just, I just wanted to really sit with, with that reflection of how much you've been through, how resilient you are, how brave you are, how strong you are, and how this image, you know, it makes me feel like i mean i can't put it into words it makes me feel really warm and and like i want to get to know you more and and i want to mm -hmm. i want to hang around you spend time in your energy and i and i think i think i 
you know, knowing how you felt when you were doing doing the shoot and, and what that gives you in terms of reflection, that th those are both really, really important to, to, to remember equally and together. Um, yeah. Uh, and um, I, I just, you know, I just wanted to, do, to, to bring that back because that's what I see. And I hope that's, I'm sure that's what everyone else sees. Can mm -hmm. you just hold it up again, just to, just to remind us and ask you if you need <coughs> I can't, I can only see my silhouette through the image, so I can't actually see what you're seeing now. So tell me if you need me to do okay, anything. Yeah, bring it back towards you. No, that way. Right That's the camera. <laughs> <laughs> and, up, and up a bit. Okay. Got so it. if Jackie, and thank you, Jackie, if Jackie in the picture was to turn around i like the way you did that that was brilliant yeah um, if if jackie in the picture was to turn around from where she's looking and face you now what do you think she would say to you i don't know <laughs> is that is, is that is that is that potentially too much to ask possibly okay all right let's yeah. flip that then so um what do you want to say to her? Actually, no. What she turn around and should say, "You're you're going to be okay. You'll be fine. Just keep going. Keep going. And it will bring you the um. It will bring you all that you need to get to where you want to go. Amazing. Now I've, we've just had a um a comment. I want to read it if I can. So Sarah has said completely agree Catherine I've loved this image since Jackie first shared it with me there's something deeply innocent about it but also full of longing and wistfulness there's a vulnerability in it yeah absolutely so, so I think it's a different image though because the one that um Sarah's referring to is the one that I showed you ages ago so I'll put them all up on a yeah, sheet of paper and you can see how similar they are because they are quite similar so, 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 what, what do you want to, what do you want to say to her? Can you just read it again? No, I don't mean Sarah. I mean, I mean, oh. what do you want to say to Jackie? Say to Jackie in the picture. Me? Yeah, from your perspective now, and knowing what you know since you took the picture, what do you think you want to say to her? What I want to say to her yeah, now. Yeah. Do you want to look at what? it? Probably, probably what I did just say, because maybe I got your, um, when you were saying earlier, what would she say to me, the Jackie in the picture, it feels weird saying your own name. Mm. I don't think I probably responded with the right answer. So the answer that I gave was that. A wrong answer, sorry. Uh, yeah, you're, you're going to be fine. Mm. Just keep going. You can get through this and you'll get everything you need to get to where you want to go. Oh, I'm sorry, because I thought that was Jackie in the picture who was saying that to Jackie now. No, 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 that, that, that's cool. Lot as beautiful. Thank you. Um, and so looking now you're looking at it from the perspective you are now. Um, how do you think it helps you make sense of everything up until that point and everything since what well, looking at the picture how does it make me make sense of everything up until what the point that i took the picture uh-huh yeah well to the point yes to the point you you created it and first looked at it how does it make me feel how how do you i can't remember what i said now how, how do you <laughs> think it it what did i say yeah, how do, you, how do you think it helps you make sense of everything in your life up until that point? So, so for me, um, these kind of images that, you know, p images that have great deep meaning for us are like, are like life anchors. Mm -hmm. um, they, they really, they can help us make sense of everything that has come before that time, what was happening in that time and what happened since and beyond so our relationship with, with our images will change over time as we change yeah. and develop. Um, and and the, the, you know, the more perspective we have on, on, a, on an image, the more of a bird's eye view we get of how it serves us in our life. And I was just wondering where you are, where your perspective is now about 
everything in your life that led up to that point of you taking that photograph, mm -hmm. um, how the image helps you make sense of your past, the present and the future. It's a massive, massive question. And, and, it is, um, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's more about, um, it's just a reminder for me just to not hold on to things. Okay, lovely. And internalize them. Because when uh -huh. you do that over like 20 years, which is what I've done, mm. you just end up in a really <laughs> agonizing place. Yeah. Frustrating uh, and stuff. Yeah, I hear you. And 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 has the image changed how you perceive yourself, how you look at yourself, or how you feel about yourself? I'm not sure. Because I I only looked at it. I haven't looked at this one very often. I looked through all of them the other day to see which one I wanted to use, and I remembered that one. And I just thought, no, I want I want to. I want to show that one maybe because it's showing my vulnerability maybe because it's just showing how much despair someone can feel in mm. at one point and um yeah so I haven't really looked at it that often but I know that it just it, for me it represents kind of just feeling caged honed in and that I just wanted to be release everything and let free and and how how has your sense of freedom changed since since that image? Do you feel free now? Pretty much, because I'm I'm in I'm in the driving seat, really, aren't I? I can feel as free as I want. So it depends how much fear I'm will, willing to face and overcome, because that's what gives me freedom. I think mm. just facing whatever you're whatever you're scared of, just go and do it, because yeah. they're the things that hold you back. Amazing. Thank you, Jackie. It's been You're so welcome. wonderful talking to you. I've got one last question is how has it been talking about your picture? Quite nice. <laughs> That's a good yeah. answer. I'll take that. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's, it's not often you get to talk. Well, knowing that I'm talking to you is nice because I know you. Um, not knowing who's going to hear what I'm saying. Uh -huh. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's like, but at the end of the day, I think, well, when I meet people anyway and I show them my photos, I, I blubber on, not blubber, but I, I talk about them and explain them and whatever I don't want people to know, I don't tell them. But, um, you know, yeah. It's, just, yeah, it's kind of exciting because I just don't know what, what, um, what response I'm going to get from people and I don't know what connections that might give me. Um, yeah. So, yeah. Be Amazing. Well, do you know, it's been such a pleasure and an honor talking to you about this image. I love the fact that you changed which image you wanted to talk about. I think that was really beautiful because you clearly instinctively knew that that the first one that you picked wasn't right. And I love that picture. Um, uh, <laughs> and, and, but this one, this one is very special, this picture that you've shared. And I really, really appreciate it. And I appreciate your honesty and courage to come on to talk about something that, you know, was a, it's a difficult time for you. <laughs> and I think it's, I think it really uh, is demonstrative of, of how courageous and resilient you are and, and, where you are on your your wonderful journey so thank you very much for for coming along and sharing with us all and and giving us your time and You're insight welcome. it's a it's such a pleasure bless your heart thank you <laughs> thank you for the invite <laughs> <laughs> pleasure i'll see you soon take care yeah see you later bye, bye. bye.